catch on. What does it mean? How do we use it? Here is number one. It means to become popular. There's a new song on the radio, and people listen to that song, they like it, and it plays over and over, and everybody likes it. The song has caught on, which means the song has become popular. It has caught on. Caught is the past and also the participle of the verb catch. Again, the song has caught on. It could be a song, it could be a new style, a new jacket, maybe a hat, maybe a word, maybe some new slang that when it becomes popular, you say it catches on. Number two, to catch on means to understand, especially after a long time. Do you know that friend that never understands your hints? That friend that never takes your hints at first, but after a while he understands? There's a moment when your friend says, oh, now I got it. So, he may not understand at first, but he will catch on eventually. He will catch on to what you're saying. Now, what about you? Do you have a friend who never catches on to what you say? Leave it in the comments and don't forget to like and follow for more. One phrasal verb, two different meanings. And the phrasal verb is, say you did something wrong. You know you did something wrong, but no one knows about it. And you manage to escape blame or escape punishment from what you did. You don't get punished, you don't get blamed. Say you cheated on your taxes, but, <clears throat> but no one knows, which means you got away with it. You got away with cheating on your taxes. When you get away with something, it means you do something wrong, but you are not caught. No one knows about it, you don't get punished, nothing happens. You get away with it. What about you? Did you ever get away with something? What was it? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and follow for more. You have an object that is very important for you because your father gave it to you. Now you are a father and you give it to your son, which means you pass it down to your son. Pass down, it's today's phrasal verb, which means to give something to someone who will still be alive after you have died. So, your father passed it down to you after your father died, after your father passed away, you still have it and it's very important for you. And now you pass it down to your son. Your son will keep it even after you die. It may be an object, but it may also be teachings, values. Your father taught you something important about life, and now you teach the same to your kid. You pass it down to your kid. It is passed down from generation to generation. It may be properties, such as a house, an apartment, a car. It may be a disease, it may be a biological condition. If it goes from parent to child, it is passed down. I passed down my house to my child. And after I die, my child will still have it. I passed it down. That's the phrasal verb of the day. What about you? Have you ever passed down anything? to your kids, or have your parents ever passed anything down to you? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and follow for more.
Get over something or get over someone, what does it mean? Well, when you get over someone, it means you say you were in a relationship with someone and then you break up. You were not together anymore. You still feel very sad. You're unhappy because you loved that person. But as time goes by, you start recovering and you start forgetting about that person, which means you get over him or you get over her. You recover, you feel much better, you are ready to move on. When you get over something, it also means you feel better or you get better, especially after an illness. Say you had the flu, you felt really bad, but then you start recovering. You start getting over the flu. You feel better. Maybe you have taken some medicine. And now your body is recovering. You are getting over the flu. This is what this phrasal verb means. What about you? Did you ever have to get over someone or something? Maybe after ending a relationship, maybe after a big problem you had and you got to get over it. Leave it in the comments and don't forget to like and follow for more. You work in an office and in this office there is a manager. But then the manager quits or the manager is fired and you will become the new manager, which means you will take over as manager. Take over. What does it mean? It means to become responsible for something. It means to get control of something, especially when there was someone in control and that someone leaves and then someone else takes control of that thing, of that person takes over, takes control of it. Or you could say that you take over something, as in, I'm taking over the restaurant, which means I am responsible for the restaurant now. I'm taking over the restaurant. To take over also means to become more powerful or more successful. Say that there are five different companies that make smartphones, but one of them is becoming more successful. One of them has become more powerful, which means that one company has taken over. That company is taking over completely, which means they are becoming more and more successful, more than the others. What about you? Have you ever taken over an office, a business, or anything? Leave it in the comments and don't forget to like and follow for more. Look up to. This is the phrasal verb of the day, but what does it mean? How do we use it? Well, there is probably someone you look up to. Someone in your family. Someone at school. Someone at work. That you look up to. It means you admire that person. You respect that person. He or she is a role model. They are an example. And you admire them. You look up to them. This is what it means. You may look up to someone at work, which means you admire them, you respect them. Maybe you even want to be like them. You look up to them. It could be someone in your family. It could be your father. It could be your mother. You look up to your mom, which means you admire her. You know she's been through thick and thin, and now you respect her. You look up to her. That's what it means. What about you? Who do you look up to? Leave it in the comments, and don't forget to like and follow for more. You were born and your parents cared for you since you were a baby 
And as you grew up, your parents taught you some beliefs. Your parents taught you what is right and wrong. They took care of you. They were responsible for you until you became a teenager. And finally, when you became an adult, which means your parents have brought you up. Bring up. That is the phrasal verb of the day. When you bring someone up, it means you take care of someone from the moment they are born or from the moment they are kids until they grow up to become adults. You teach them what's right and wrong. You are responsible for them. You take care of them. You bring them up. This is one meaning of this phrasal verb, bring up. Bring up also means to raise a topic, raise a subject, and start talking about it. Say you're talking to your friend, and then he brings up the subject of marriage, which means he starts talking about it. Maybe he is planning to get married. Maybe he wants you to help. So he brings it up. He brings up this subject starts talking about it. This is what bring up means. What about you? Were you brought up with a lot of strict rules? Were your parents strict? Please leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and follow for more.